What's going on ladies and gentlemen? So today we are on Norris Lake. Now the last time I came to this lake, it loved me. But that's like the first time ever that this lake has actually loved me. Most of the time, it absolutely despises me and I hate it just as much. But I found a spot next to my house that's only about 22 minutes away and that's literally probably the closest lake to me. So you're probably gonna see me on here a lot on Norris just for the simple fact I don't like having a lake beat me. I don't like it, I can't stand it, it annoys me. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out here and we're gonna try our best to catch some fish. I did learn something though from the last time I was here. I really believe that I had my leader line too short because I use that high viz, uh, what is it, V2 Power Pro yellow line on a lot of my spinning setups. Well, we went to a Koei Lake for my birthday, and man, we, one, we couldn't buy a bite, but once I stretched out that leader line, I got more fish. Here, I still had that stuff tied on, and I had that super, super long leader line. Well, that was the day that I was actually catching a ton of fish. So I'm really thinking it was my fault that these fish hated me because my leader line was just too short. Um, and what I'm gonna try to do is, one, I need to get better with things like drop shot and a lot of those finesse tactics, which I've gotten pretty good with the Ned rig, I feel, um, but, and like where to throw it, when to throw it, stuff like that. But I still hate, with a passion, the drop shot. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Most people really, really enjoy it. Um, but, I have got some new baits from Reaction Innovations. I can't remember the actual name of them at the moment. I'll show them once we get out on the water. But I have some like yellow mustard color ones, some uh, green pumpkin with some blue swirl, and a morning dawn. Now, I have realized using them that the morning dawn really does do well in this clear water, which I don't understand because they wouldn't bite a line with high vis yellow, but they'll bite this bright pink looking thing in the water so I, I have no idea fish are confusing uh <laughs> they really are but we're gonna get out here and we're gonna be working a lot with finesse tactics just because we've had a lot of cold fronts come through uh we have a high pressure system right now i think it's like 31 or something like that and that means it's gonna be really hard not to mention like i said we've had massive cold fronts uh you know dogwood winter i think that's what we call it here in tennessee but we're going to go ahead, shut up, because I've been talking for three minutes, and we're going to go and get on the water and try our best to catch some big old small jaws, if they have them in here. I don't even know. <laughs> I've only caught tiny spots. Anyways, see you guys on the water. Have fun, y'all. We'll Always. Ooh. This wind came out of nowhere. Got it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Did you just throw? How did you throw it? Ow. It threw my swim bait. How did it throw it? Thanks, little fella. <laughs> Man, all right, that was that was pretty freaking cool. I watched him fall all the way up and hit it. Wow, awesome. <laughs> Thanks, little buddy. Dang, he was gone. Now I gotta put on another one. How did he throw that? Ah! Don't get me wrong, I've had one of those Sankos, but never uh, swim baits like that. Huh, <laughs> that was cool though. Oh, 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 oh. 
Ooh. He's gonna dive bomb one more time where he should. Got him. <laughs> I had to cast in there three or four or five dozen times after that first bite. <laughs> uh, ow. Ow. Quit. <laughs> oh, look at that butte. Look at it. <laughs> oh, heading toward a tree again. I can't seem to get away from the tree. We're just gonna set you right there. <laughs> Man, ah, ow. Look at that guy. Man, that's a nice looking fish. That is a pretty, look how pretty you are, gosh. Wish I'd have found you about a week or two ago. We got, ow. Eighteen inches. Thank you, Mr. Fish. It's been fun. Right, go have, go have, uh, take care of your babies. <laughs> uh, I'm only 23 minutes from this place. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited. Yes. Uh, and he didn't throw my bait. <laughs> Back to fishing. Nah. Yeah. Okay, so I've been throwing the Ned Rig just a little bit, and not the Ned Rig, I got hung up on my first few casts on the Ned Rig, and I was like, screw that, not doing it, too many trees. Decided to try throwing the drop shot a little bit. No luck, wind was just too insane. Um, you're gonna hear most of the audio from this one, but I might throw <laughs> the audio from the Hero 5 on, so that way you guys can kinda see what I'm dealing with. Uh, was not, has not been fun, I'll put it that way. Yeah, it's uh, get that out, get that loop out. There we go. Good job. Nope, stop it. There we go. But um, yeah, it's it's not been very very fun trying to deal with some of the wind that was happening, and it's calmed down quite a bit, and I mean, quite a bit. So, but we're gonna go ahead after that fish, guys. I don't, I know a lot of people just constantly throw catch fish, throw catch fish. If you catch a fish, like that one was 18 inches, okay? Probably only about two pounds. Um, but retie your lines, okay? Just because, I mean, what happens if I hook into that, that 20 plus inch monster and I just caught that 18 and that 18 frayed my line and I had no idea. If you catch a big fish, retie your line. I'm telling you, retie that line. Do all this and that and uh, it's uh it's not working out for me. There we go. Wonder if there's any more on that tree. Let's go find out. <laughs> nah, that's a nice small mouth. On an itty bitty little thing too. On mega bass. Mega bass and Kitek, baby. 3.3 inch. 3.3 inch Kitek with a, a mega bass and it's got like i said it's got like a little spinner on it and buddy let me tell you it puts in the work on the smaller jaw all right back to fishing every bit of me is screaming they're looking up so
got him. Oh, he jumped right in. I saw him and he was cruising top and smoked that rat. What? Oh, where were you two weeks ago when I was on Norris? <laughs> Woo! Ah, oh, God. Woo! Uh, <laughs> I don't know if the camera got that. I hope it did. Well, back in the back. But wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got too excited. Oh, I got too pumped. Oh, oh. man, I love top water, especially on that stinking rat. God, oh. the head on that sucker. I saw it swimming around, and I was like, I'm not leaving until I hook into this large mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I need to get this hook out. Sorry guys, I'm really excited. I mean, cause this thing, this thing's a freaking, uh, I love top water bites. Okay, I need to get the hook out. I need to get the hook out. I'll, I'll see you guys in a second. Okie dokie, come here old girl. Uh. I mean, yes. <laughs> oh. yeah. All right. All right. Time to let her go. That's awesome. Man, I'm I'm so happy right now. <laughs> so I'm so freaking happy. Uh ratfish baby. Woo! All righty, old girl, you ready? Here we go. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> I can go home happy. I can I can go home happy after that. That was that was intense. I forgot what a top water was like. That is intense. Like crazy intense. That that was an intense bite. That was that was awesome. Like really really awesome. <laughs> I can literally go home happy, completely satisfied because that's my PB uh norris bass like hands down i wish i'd have caught her about two or three weeks ago during the actual spawn she was really skinny um but just wow <laughs> i love it i love fishing man i don't know i don't know if anybody else loves fishing as much as i do but i absolutely love this sport it's an amazing it's relaxing um i don't know if you guys can see during the gopro what i get to see i know it doesn't do it any justice but man i get to come out here i get to relax i get to stop thinking about everything and i just get to catch fish man man that, that was awesome all right yeah that was, that was awesome i'm gonna i'm gonna get back to fishing and see if maybe i catch another one <laughs> I, i'm excited like i'm pumped Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. <laughs> God dang it. It's not even a big fish. The six pound test. Son of a gun. Stop it. <laughs> oh man. I've been driving all these miles and this is where I find my fish 23 minutes from the house. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, let me get her unhooked here. Uh, little butter ball. Oh my gosh, man. Everything's been putting in work today. Norris is just on fire today. Holy cow. Look at that guy. Just look at it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fish. Oh man, that was beautiful. <sighs> All right. Let's see if we can note, man. This little this little freaking mega bass is putting in some work today. This mega bass head. Hopefully it didn't mess it up. My well my my contact anyways. Still good. Okie dokie. Ah, yes, fishy fishy. <laughs> come on, 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 come here, come here. Aha. I knew I'd eventually get you. <laughs> Another little smallie. Man, I've been searching for these things forever. And of course, I find them right here at a lake next to my house. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Whoa. I knew if I cast it back in there. Oh, I lost it the first time. Dang. It, man, they're getting real good at throwing my... Uh, they're getting real good at throwing my lures. You know what? I ain't going to risk it. Oh, no, 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 you don't. I knew it was going to take off as soon as it saw the boat. Man, come on, come back up here. <laughs> no! You even took my bait, you little turd. <laughs> it's all right. That was a good one, though. That was a good one. Took my... Took my lure, made fun of me, called me names, flipped me off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get some more of these. Oh man. There's two. Maybe we won't get three out of them. Three. <laughs> All right.
<sighs> Woo. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give a hint on what I'm doing here. Wow, that wasn't even, yeah, he wasn't even hooked. Thank you, Mr. Little Guy. Thanks, bud. See you later. Gone. Man, he's done. He's like, I'm out of here. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna give you guys a little hint on what I've been doing. I mean, if you haven't been watching the video and figured it out, when I'm casting, I'm literally counting down to about three to five seconds, depending on what level of the rock I can see under the water. And then from there, I'm just really slow swimming it back. And this head, the way that this head works, it has almost like a spy bait blade on it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but then I throw just a little, little Kitek guy here um, on the back end. And, you know, you can chartreuse if you want to. We've got super clear water, but I figured smallmouth, chartreuse, you know, you get it. But, I'm like I said, I'm counting down to three seconds and then doing a super watching paint, hating my life, slow reel. And they're just nailing it. And it's been that way all day. Except for the one uh, PB bass that I broke on this lake, which was nice. <laughs> so... But as you can tell, I cast it out, I slow reel, and then I'm, I mean, guys, I'm slow reeling this thing. Um, I want I want to get a little bit closer to the bank next time. I'm just doing this to show you, but I mean, I am, I am slow, slow reeling. And I think my Kitek has had it, but I, that that's all I'm doing. And man, they are, uh, they're destroying it. I can guarantee you on the next fish, I will lose my Kitek. I will lose it. This is just the way it's gonna happen, but it's okay. It's about ready. It's about time for me to go. I need to get home and uh, maybe edit this video. It's a very angry one. He's not big, but he's angry. Man, the head shakes on this guy. He should dive bomb a couple more times. There's one. <laughs> oh buddy where have you been oh again he wasn't they're not even getting hooked i don't understand <laughs> man this has been a kind of a small mouth haven today for me eh, let's get out away from this rock ah, get away from the rock oh man look at that guy <laughs> look at that that's a good fish man I have caught nothing but good fish on oars today. Whew, if I was in a tournament, I'd be doing great. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Gone. Yes, sir. Kitek Mega Bass putting in the work today, baby. Mm. Okay, so I am back. I am done. It is getting dark. My ISO, my ISO is on 800 right now, so it's getting really dark really quick. It's about 8:30. Man, today, what can I say? I'm gonna have to remove fish from this video so it's not like seven hours long. I mean, it was a good day. <laughs> but the Kitek on the Mega Bass, I'm telling you guys, that thing was money, absolute money i just it's like i couldn't even cast it out and let it hit bottom and i threw a whole bunch of other stuff and like i said the big thing that came on uh the big large mouth today came on the rat but everything else everything else was on that but i hope you guys enjoyed the video you know what to do if you if you did like comment blah 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 all that stuff hit the button jay woohoo
make it make it big make it rain youtube likes whatever i don't care so i'll see you guys on the next video